Yeah, um, did anybody, did anybody watch that Carl Frost when he was talking to um, Joe Egan yesterday? I mean, I've got to say, Joe, uh, Joe Egan was a bit embarrassed in a way because when he started to talk about Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, come on, uh, Jake Paul should not be in the same ring as Mike Tyson because everybody has got a rough idea what's going to happen. It's going to be, everybody thinks it's going to be a fix. Jake Paul's give Mike Tyson so much money and Mike Tyson's either going to fall over or something like that. Jake Paul is going to win, yeah? Um, and Cole Frost is saying that can't happen. Mike Tyson should not take a draw. Mike Tyson should do what he always does, go out there and smash Jake Paul to pieces, which really Mike Tyson should do. Even though they're wearing 16 ounce gloves, Mike Tyson should go out there and really smash this Jake Paul. He should take him off the he should take him off the boxing scene. Because Jake Paul is really he's got a lot of money. Him and his brother, they're KK, he's got so much money, he's just throwing it at the fighters, and fighters are taking a dive, making Jake Paul look the business. So get in with good, good fighters like that. Come on, mate. Next thing it'd be Lewis and sort of people like it's gonna be it's gonna be terrible, you know what I mean? Uh but you know. Money speaks languages, we, we know that. And uh, I just start hope that Mike Tyson goes out there and smashes his Jake Paul to pieces and he can't fight no more. That's what I want. You know, same with Cole Frost. He wants the same thing. Then get that uh, Jake Paul out of the boxing scene. Also, um, Joe, I know Joe quite well. A bit upset the way Joe spoke, spoke about all the fighters. Uh, with John Fury saying John Fury is this, John Fury is that. Uh, look what the people he's done, that the kid, he's, he's had a go at Cole Frost, he's had other people, and he, you know, and, and this, that and the other, and he's saying Joe Egan that he wants to fight him, and he's, you know, but he never ever mentioned Mickey Theo. Why, you know, I mean, Joe Egan, I said, Joe, go down the airport and meet uh, meet John Fury and have it out of him there and then, you know, put it on him, um, you know, and Joe Egan ain't mentioned that he did or didn't, ain't mentioned about Mickey Theo because Mickey Theo, if Mickey Theo knew that he was at the airport, 100% Mickey Theo would go down there and put it on, put put it on him straight away. He ain't he ain't bothered about uh, the brothers and sisters and whatever it is. He ain't bothered about that Mick. He would go down and put it on him. You know, John. Listen, Mickey Theo was the first person, the first person to put it on John Fury. And since that, everybody else has jumped on the bandwagon. Joe Egan, fair play to him, he jumps on the bandwagon, yeah? But why don't he and Mickey Fiel get together and put it on John? Or if not, jo Joe Egan, put it on Mickey Fiel. Or Mickey Fiel put it on he's all, Mickey Fiel has already put it on you, John. And you ain't done nothing about it. You ain't even mentioned Mickey Fiel. Do you know? Because it's not a per... You're thinking that... What, what are we going to get out of that? What am I going to get out of if I fight Mickey Fiel? What about Mickey Fiel fights John Fury and knocks him spark out? You know, because don't worry about that, mate. Mickey Fiel trains every day. When I first seen Mickey Fiel training years ago, I thought, nah, he's got no chance, you know. He can't punch, he can't hit a bag, he can't do nothing, yeah? But he's been training for years, mate, and he's like a professional fighter. He runs every day, he's very, very powerful, that power, he never lose that. You know what I mean? I would say he might 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 lose a couple of key here and there, but he's still a very powerful man. You know what I mean? And to get in with Joe with with Joe Egan or John Fury, I'd love to see that fight. You know, should give this Mickey Fury a chance. He's the one that should have more of a chance than anybody, really. I mean, Cole Frost. Uh, it'd be nice for Cole to get Mickey Fury on. To get Mickey Fury on the channel. I know it's a boxing channel. Uh, Carl Frost's boxing channel, but you know, I mean, he's quite, he's quite a good conversation. You can have a quite a good talk with uh, Mickey Fiel, You know what I mean? He can talk about Lenny McLean and this, that, and the other, and other fighters. You know, he ain't fighting to talk about it, and he ain't fighting to talk about Johnny, John Fury. You know. Uh, anyway, give Mickey Fiel a chance. Give Mickey Fiel that chance to get in the ring with John Fury, or give Mickey Fiel a chance to get in with Joe Egan. Joe Egan's pushed Mickey Fiel aside. Joe, come on, mate. Phone Mickey up and do something about it. Nice one.